I think Father Baker should have been canonized the day he died. I believe from day one that he is a saint. Yes, I call Father Baker dad. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to say I'm a Father Baker boy. Oh, he was a wonderful man. He used to feed the people. He was a wonderful man for all he did. The orphanage, the working boys home, the home for unwed mothers, such quarters for the little ones. I would really say he is a saint. I really would. I remember hearing that Father Baker had died. It was summer, 1936, and I was 11 years old, and I remember I cried. Remembering the kind, gentle priest who let me wear his beretta. I have a great devotion to Our Lady of Victory and to Father Baker. Many times my prayers have been answered. To me, Father Baker is a saint, but I hope I live to see him canonized. When I was stricken with polio, it was told that if I touched the bed of Father Baker, our prayers would be answered. They sure were. I'm free of crutches, braces, and have been blessed with so many things all these years. My devotion to the Blessed Mother will never end. Having lived during this era and viewed this monumental complex, coupled with Father Baker's long life and many hours and years of love and service to the poor and unfortunate, he truly should receive this honor of sainthood. Although I will never see the culmination of Father Baker's canonization, I trust he will be canonized. We adopted a baby girl from the infant home a couple of years ago and have been blessed since. My mother always took us to Father Baker's church as children and as adolescents. It was always a wonderful feeling to just walk through the church. Mother always believed in Father Baker and would pray to him for special favors. We will continue to pray for the success of lifting Father Baker to sainthood. As far as our family is concerned, he was a saint long ago. You know, we all know, and anybody that has any connection to Father Baker already knows that he's a saint. But for the world to know and to shed light on the great legacy of his priestly ministry, his humility, his prayer life, his ability to have a faith that was so deep that it literally changed the lives of so many countless people. And I think we need that inspiration today. We need to know that we too, when we pray and when we trust in the providence of God, when we pray through the intercession of the Blessed Mother, all things are possible. And I believe his story, his inspirational story, the truth of his life, when that spreads throughout the world, as it will when he's beatified and canonized, will just open more doors to people to say, wow, look what that one little priest did and what we can do if we have the same kind of faith and the same kind of trust. I think the more people that talk about it, the more people that share his story, uh, the mo more people that pray his prayer for canonization, which is the prayer that we pray at every Mass, every gathering we have, makes that awareness and puts it right at the forefront. And we want people to certainly reach out and to pray through his intercession, but to pray for his canonization, his beatification and canonization. We need those two miracles. And again, the more people that talk about it, the more people that share the story, the more well-known Father Baker becomes. They can contact us here at OLV, my Father Dave Lapuma or Monsignor Paul Burkhart, who continues to serve as the Vice Postulator, and we will guide them through the process. But basically, uh, the family of the individual, uh, or the individual himself, uh, with their help, would have to document exactly what took place, uh, the cure that they experienced. And it has to be something that is permanent, um, that is medically unexplainable, and that has past a period of time where there's been no uh, re reoccurrence of the illness. And a doctor eventually has to sign off on it to say that there's no medical explanation. So there can't be any kind of medical intervention, that kind of thing, but it has to truly be what would be considered a, a potential miracle. And that would all be documented. Uh, we'd make sure we guide you through the process, but we certainly encourage you, if you feel that in any way, to please reach out to us and we'll take you through those steps because we need those miracles, we need those stories, uh, certainly. And you just never know which one it's going to be 
that's going to pass the test of time and that will be approved um, by Rome, by the cause of the saints, and eventually by our Holy Father.